If you think building a smart home with HomeKit has to cost an arm and a leg, I hate to tell you, but you'd be wrong. This is something that's been getting better and better over the past couple of years with more brands offering affordable options for HomeKit, like this Zimmy Smart HomeKit Hub that allows you to connect many affordable Zigbee products to HomeKit. Products like light strips, sensors, shades, curtain controllers, switches, wireless buttons, water shutoff valves, and the list goes on. Did I mention they're very affordable? But are they any good? That's what we're gonna find out today. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks so much for joining me. My name is Shane, if you're new here, and this channel is all about building an easy smart home using Apple's HomeKit, with new videos published every Sunday and live streams every Wednesday. So, Zimmy Smart sent me their HomeKit hub and some of their products so that I could test them out and share them with you. They did send me most of this stuff for free, but I'm under no obligation to say or do anything. You're gonna get my honest thoughts and feedback about these products as always. If I don't like something, I'm gonna let you know. And I honestly was a little skeptical at first and I really didn't even think I'd end up making a video about these products at all. But after testing out a few of them and seeing the wide range of stuff that you can actually get to work with HomeKit thanks to the Zimmy Smart HomeKit Hub, I changed my tune a little bit. I think some of these products can really fill a gap in the market for certain HomeKit products where there aren't currently any other options. And speaking of finding affordable HomeKit products, let me tell you real quick about today's sponsor, the Home Devices app. I use this and I think this should be in every HomeKit user's toolbox. It's a huge database of all the available HomeKit products that are available on the market and even shows you the features of the home kit devices before you own them. I really love that. This is great when you're trying to decide which home kit devices you might wanna buy. You can browse categories, search for specific devices, add them to your personal wish list, and even integrate your existing home kit devices. And as an added bonus, there's even a home kit news section that you can customize and it'll show you home kit content from blogs and creators such as myself when they come out. Big thanks to the Home Devices app for sponsoring today's video. Trust me, this one is worth it for anyone building a smart home with HomeKit. Check out the link in the description below to download it today. The Zimmy Smart HomeKit Hub allows you to control certain Toya Zigbee devices. They say that not all Zigbee devices can work with the Hub, so it's best to get those that have been verified by Zimmy Smart. The Hub uses Zigbee 3.0, and you can pair up to 100 Tau devices to it. And since it uses Zigbee, these devices will still work locally even if your internet goes down. So today, let's check out everything that they sent me and I'll kind of briefly share my thoughts on each of these. Um, of course, they did send me the HomeKit Hub. They sent me some light switches that look great, but they really don't fit in any of my switch boxes. I think these are made to fit in like single gang switch boxes, but I need like the decor style switches to fit at my house because most of my switches are two or three gang switch boxes. So I didn't actually test these out, but it does appear that they have a number of other switch styles, many that don't need neutral wires and even some wireless switches. So that's great. Looks like they have a wide variety on their website. They also sent me a light strip, a motion sensor, a contact sensor, a window shade controller, and that's just a few of the products that they have available on their website. After digging around a little bit, I found things like roller shades, a motorized window opener, down lights, a curtain robot that actually reminds me of the little switch bot curtain and even a water shutoff valve, all of which should work in HomeKit thanks to that hub. Some of these are products that I haven't seen available with native HomeKit support from anyone else, so that's pretty awesome. They do have some stuff available on Amazon and even sell little bundles like with the hub and different sensors. I'll put links to everything down below that we talk about today. A lot of things are on sale right now actually, but they don't have 
all of their products available on Amazon, at least at the time of recording. Now they also have an AliExpress store and you can shop directly from the Zimmy Smart website. Also, both of these I believe will ship from China. So definitely expect longer shipping times. And if you shop here, you may have to pay an additional shipping fee for certain products and locations. So just be sure you know to check that out as you're shopping. But they do offer many more products available both on their website and the AliExpress site than you'll find over on Amazon. Not all of their products will support HomeKit though, and that's where it gets kind of confusing. So if you're looking for the HomeKit products, I found it easiest to use their website. They have a little HomeKit section, and supposedly all of the products under this section will be able to pair with that you know, Zimmy Smart HomeKit hub and support HomeKit. And if you find something there you like, you can even go check on AliExpress or on Amazon to see if maybe that product is on sale or a better price somewhere else because they do run discounts and sales in various places pretty often. Now I wanted to experience the checkout and shipping process for myself as just a regular customer. So I went ahead and placed an order for the water shutoff valve directly from their website. The checkout process was a little odd, only offering PayPal as an option for payment. You can still use a credit card though even if you don't have a PayPal account so it wasn't really a huge deal and I did receive the product in good condition in just over three weeks after placing the order. I'm not going to talk about the water valve much today since I got that a little bit later than anything else. I might save that for a separate video once I get more time to test it and use it but I can confirm that it does indeed work with HomeKit as well and it was under $40. So yeah, let me know in a comment below if that's something you guys wanna see in more detail in another video. So let's get this other stuff working in HomeKit. I should mention that this hub does also support Alexa and Google Assistant, but of course we're gonna be focusing on the HomeKit integration today. Here's the Zimmy Smart Hub. The box was a little beat up when it arrived, but everything inside was fine. You can see the HomeKit code here on the box. It's also on the bottom of the hub. There's a reset button, a micro USB port for power, and an ethernet port, which means it can be hardwired to your router. That is a plus in my opinion. There's also an option to connect it via Wi-Fi if that's your preference, but I'm gonna be sticking with the hardwired option here today. You do get some mounting screws, a user guide, a mounting bracket, which is nice if you wanna mount it on the wall or under a surface somewhere, an ethernet cord and your USB to micro USB cord for power. No power supply is included in the box, but I was happy to see that each product did include an instruction manual in English, even that water shutoff valve that I ordered directly from their website and shipped all the way from China. So I plugged the hub up to power and wired it directly to my router via the ethernet cord. Now there are a couple of ways to get this thing working in HomeKit. You can add it directly in the Home app and you can actually never even have to use the Toya app or you can go through the Toya app and bind it to HomeKit. So first I tried directly in HomeKit, which did work. There's even a manual pairing process so you can add your Zigbee devices to the hub without ever having to use the Toya app, which is really nice if that's something that you know, you're interested in. But I actually recommend using the Toya app at least at first, if nothing else, so you can get any firmware updates and you know, check out any additional features or options for the devices that you won't get in HomeKit. So download the Toya app if you don't already have it. Then in the HomeKit section, you can choose to add a HomeKit device. Scan your code and once added, it'll automatically bind the hub. That's what we want. Once the hub is in HomeKit and binded in the Toya app, you can start adding child devices to the hub via the Toya app, which will automatically add them to HomeKit. It's generally pretty easy to add devices to the hub. Like I said, you can do it manually by using the pairing button on the hub. Tap it once to put it in pairing mode. Then usually hold down a button on the device itself for a few seconds until you see some sort of indicator that it's been paired. Tap the button on the hub again to turn off pairing mode and that's it. Boom, it shows up in HomeKit. This is great, again, if you wanna completely bypass the Toya app, you can do it this way. Otherwise, in the Toya app, to add a new device, tap Add New Device and find the device you wanna add. Tap the hub you wanna add it to, then hold down that button for three or more seconds to reset it and pair it to the hub. There's also an automatic detection option for adding new devices, which you can use also if you want. For the motion sensor, I had to open it up to find the reset button for this one. And I basically went through the same process with the light strip controller and the shade controller. 
Lastly was this temperature and humidity sensor. So this is a pretty cool little device with the display and all, but I couldn't find any way to change it to Fahrenheit. So that display is kind of useless for me. Would be great if you use Celsius and it does work fine in HomeKit as a temperature and humidity sensor. And I should also mention that they do have, you know, a more basic temperature and humidity sensor without any kind of display or something uh, available on their website that you can get, which will work fine also in HomeKit and with your automations. So what are my thoughts on all these Toya Zemi Smart products in HomeKit? Well, I was kind of pleasantly surprised. Now, granted, I didn't really have high expectations, do keep that in mind, but once these products were added to HomeKit, they all actually worked really well. Again, they all connect to the hub via Zigbee, which I like, you know, that's kind of like a Caro or Philips Hue products. That's a good thing in my opinion. Zigbee generally means they're gonna be fast and reliable, which is really great, especially for things like lights and sensors. The motion and contact sensors were pretty fast and reliable. I really like the cool little magnet ball and shape of this motion sensor. The temperature sensor seems to have very similar readings to other temperature and humidity sensors in the same room. The shades controller does seem to be built very well. The design and build seems pretty close to the Acara roller shade driver, which still isn't available in the US, by the way. The Zimmy Smart one is a little bit bigger and slightly heavier. Unfortunately, I don't have any shades with the pull cord to actually test them with, but from what I can tell without actually connecting them to some shades, it seems to work really well in HomeKit. You can even get a solar panel to connect to these. Again, build quality on this thing seems to be pretty good. The light strip is just okay. It does work well in HomeKit, but there are probably other better quality light strips that cost about the same or less on the market. So, but like I said, they have a lot of other products that can be connected such as roller shades, that water shutoff valve, which is pretty awesome, various light switches, and much more. These are more budget-friendly products, so they're probably not gonna be as premium as, you know, maybe more expensive ones. You know, you get like some Lutron roller shades or something, or even the Eve roller shades. Those are probably gonna be a little bit more premium than something from Zimmy Smart. But sometimes affordable products that just work well might be what you need. And if that's the case, I think these do check the box. Plus some of these products may in fact be the only option on the market for that particular device category to work in HomeKit. For example, that water shutoff valve, uh, that curtain robot that they sell. There simply isn't any HomeKit equivalents out there right now for products like these. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Could you see yourself trying out any of these products? I kind of moved through them pretty fast today, so if you have any specific questions about the actual products that I used and tested, feel free to ask in the comment section. One thing I know for sure, more options and more affordable prices is always a good thing. So I'm happy about that and I'm excited that these products are available um, you know, at the end of the day. So thanks again to our sponsor today, the Home Devices app. Again, a great resource if you are building a home kit, smart home like me. Check out that link in the description below. And if you're interested in other more affordable products for home kit, check out this video right over here. That's all about building an affordable smart home using a car products which is another great budget-friendly option for home kit and over here I have my getting started home kit 101 playlist you can check out if you're new to all this remember to subscribe for new videos every Sunday live streams every Wednesday thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video